Hello, in today's video, we're going to build the AWS Parallel Cluster from scratch on Brainboard. So let's get started. As a first resource, we're going to use a region. Then here, we simply need to configure it. It's going to be California. Now we make it bigger to include more resources. So now we're going to include a VPC. Here, we configure it. VPC advanced configuration is going to be a variable. So here we have VPC underscore Here we have the tags and the meta arguments count depends on and for each. Now we are going to configure a variable. So here is going to be architecture. Here is going to be a string. Here is going to be 10. 16, and here is going to be the default value of the VPC sign. And we do the update. We have created our variable and we go back to the design. So here we make the VPC bigger and we're going to look for security group. This one. We include it in the VPC. Now we configure it. So here is going to be security. Uh, the name P cluster, the tags, the VPC ID here from port minus one, protocol TCP. Yes. HTTPS only from port is going to be here 443 here is going to be TCP as well and here 443 now we configured our security group and here we need two AZ. So here we include the first one in security group. Here we configure it. It's going to be 1A. So here we need to make everything bigger. And here as well as now. So here we have the first Z, and now we are going to have the second one. Still in the security group, and now we configure it as well. It's going to be 1B. Now we need an ASG included in this AZ. So here is going to be Max size is going to be a variable, so now we need to configure it. So here is going to be far. And here is going to be far min capacity. Advanced configuration we have 1A, 1B. So now we need to look more. Here, we need to configure the launch configuration. And here we're good. So now we're going to make the AZ like that. Now we need C5 in the AZ. We configure it. So we have C5 here, advanced configuration var MEI. Instance time is going to be C5 large. Here, security group, and we are good. So here we need another one here. So now we include text is going to be here, spot. So now what we need is here Perfect. and 
now and now we need here is reserved capacity okay so now we need to make it again bigger because we have more resources to include and the resource that we need to include is going to be a launch configuration we included here in the security group now we are going to configure it is going to be here this value image id is going to be a variable so here official debian ami instance tab is going to be c5n it's not extra large it's going to be c5n large advanced configuration here we need to look and we have only one security so it's good here so now we're good now we can configure our variables so we have mei here string it's going to be one two three here the default view of the mei here is going to be number here five is going to be the default value of the max capacity eight here number one of the mean capacity and here string we can say test and here the default value of the official Debian MI. Now we configure all the variables and now we can go back. So here we're going to make it bigger. Here we take the value PC cluster, we go to the ASG, we look for launch configuration and it's going to be name so here we simply need to look here it's going to be launch now here we put it like that okay and now we need this and that here in the launch configuration now we need to make it bigger here as well here and it's going to be we need another text here and here is you have the possibility to mix capacity between instances so here we are good now we are going to look for another resource is going to be a dynamo table so it's going to be this one in the vpc here we are going to configure it it's going to be this one here p cluster here building mode is going to be provision the read capacity is going to be 30 and the write capacity 30 as well so here we do like that now we need another text here is going to be data base here like that now we need mei so here we need i am role 
Yes. And now we configure it. So here is going to be I am role is going to be the default. Here assume role policy advanced configuration. Here we are good. Now we need over resources. So here is going to be SSM activation. Like that, we add it in the VPC. So here is going to be SSM activation. Here we have it. Like that. Here I am all on. So we are good. And now SSM document. Here we configure it as well. So it's going to be here. And here we need this document type is going to be command. The name is going to be so this one and here we're good so now what we need is here just a little bit like that we need a text is going to be system manager session bigger to have it like that. Now if we need then we can actually say that all of this here we have this this and that is going to be group in system manager session save here is going to be dynamo so here base and here for example so we have the security group we can say sg so here by doing that what we have done is that we have created sg Terraform file, database Terraform file here, and here system manager session. So here we go back to main, and now we are going to do a Terraform plan. So here Brenbo will do the Terraform init. Everything is green, so it means the Terraform code which has been generated is actually valid. Now, as Brainboard is a collaborative solution, here you have the Loki mechanism with the Terraform plan. So here you can either now deploy directly from Brainboard, or if you want, you can do as well a pull request by using GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, or GitLab. For your data here you can choose either aws s3 azure blob storage or brainboard backend this is how you set up your cloud pr provider credentials so here we can go to there field contents and here you have on one side the design and then on the other side the Terraform code that has been generated for you. So I hope this video has been useful for you and if you have any questions I will be happy to help you build your own use case on Brainboard. Have a great day.